There's a rather popular myth out there that feeding a dog or cat garlic is a natural way of getting rid of fleas. How would that work, you may ask? Well, I'm here to answer that and more on this week's episode of Mythbusters. Rumor has it that garlic causes an animal's blood and skin to smell and taste unfavorable to fleas, thus acting as a repellent. Now, I don't know about you, but speaking from personal experience, anytime I eat garlic, my breath is 100% a natural repellent. So it makes sense why some people may believe the same thing applies to their pet. Unfortunately, what they don't realize is that garlic is actually toxic to dogs and cats. In fact, garlic can cause GI irritation that leads to vomiting and diarrhea. If our furry friends consume a large amount of garlic, it can lead to severe damage to their red blood cells, which causes them to rupture. This dangerous process is called Heinz body hemolytic anemia. Say that five times fast. Heinz body hemolytic anemia. 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 Red blood cells are important because they carry oxygen throughout the body, so we don't want them to rupture. Without proper protection, fleas can cause discomfort for your pets, potential transmission of various diseases, and infestations inside your home. Female adult fleas can produce up to 50 eggs within 24 hours after their first meal, which means they can take over rather quickly. Now, let's go see what the clinic thinks of myth number two. Hey, Kristen, can I ask you a question while you have a cute puppy in your hands? True or false? Garlic prevents fleas. False. Thank goodness. Okay. Could you explain that for the, the audience for us? So there's no medical reason why garlic would work against fleas. Yeah, I agree. Any reason why they don't want to give garlic? Yeah, it can actually be toxic. It's in the same family as onions, and so it can cause anemia or low red blood cells. Which Sounds familiar. Oh, okay. Thanks, Kristen. Who's this guy? This is Finn. Hey, Finn. What do you think, Finn? I think Finn agrees. All right. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Josie, 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 Josie. I have a huge question. Can garlic, does garlic, excuse me, prevent fleas? Yes or no? No. Oh, great answer. Why? I don't know how that would prevent fleas. Doesn't really make sense, does it? N no. What are your like? What are your thoughts? Like, why do you think people would think that? Like vampires <laughs> or something? That's true. Like, we cannot us. rule out vampires, everyone. They could be real. Okay. Well, ultimately, final answer is no. Okay. No. Good answer. <laughs> Allie, 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 Allie. Question, question, question. Is it true? Do does garlic prevent fleas? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Why? Like, tell us. Explain everything. Well, it's toxic to dogs. Is your paper toxic? No, the paper's not toxic. Thank you, Sandra. Unless it's exposed to oxygen, then it becomes extremely toxic. So that's that's start to start, you know. Doesn't sound like a good idea. You probably should get your prevention from a professional veterinarian. Where? Where? Where's a good place to get that? A great place called All Star. There we go. There you have it. Come see us. Allie said so. Elise. Does garlic prevent fleas? No. Why? Because it's toxic to dogs. Yes. What happens? Uh, I think their kidneys or something. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Okay, thanks. So now that we know garlic doesn't prevent fleas, what is safe to use for your furry family member? Well, there are multiple veterinary approved products such as Symperica available to help fight off those pesky parasites. Don't be afraid to call us here at All Star or ask your trusted veterinarian what product is the best fit for your pet. Thank you for watching this episode of Mythbusters. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button and follow us on Facebook. What veterinary myths have you heard of? Let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next time for episode three.